The Vinci Resolve includes a full-featured DAW built right in called Fairlight. And in this video, we're going to record a short voiceover just to see how that works here uh, right in DaVinci Resolve. So let me stop that playback. We'll head over here to Fairlight. And as you can see, here are the audio tracks that we already have. Same ones we have over here in the, uh, in the edit page. Now they're displayed differently here in our edit page. We can change how they're displayed uh, in here if you uh, want to do that. A bunch of different options we have right in here but head back to Fairlight. So this is the same exact audio. Over here's our video. We can detach that and put that on a different monitor if we want. Scale it up, scale it down, whatever. But for us, it's fine right there. So I want to record the voiceover starting somewhere around 23 seconds or so. Then we'll head back uh, here to Fairlight. We zoom in a bit, make sure we're around 23 seconds and we're good. So the first thing we need to do is of course have a track for our microphone. So let's come over here, right click, and we'll go to add track. And since it's a microphone, it's going to be a mono uh, track. So we'll just choose a mono track right there. I'll pull it out, make it a little bit bigger. I'll right click and let's go ahead and change this color to, let's say teal, okay? Now before we record, we actually have to set up the input. I can't just immediately record right now, okay? We'll also click in here and call this uh, voice Okay, so we have it labeled and now we need to actually set up the input. So there's a couple ways we could do this. We can head up here to Fairlight and choose patch input output. Make sure on our source we have our audio inputs. And right now I have this set up to show the uh, mic line instrument input from my Personas 1824C. Now this is the input I do need, the input 1, 2, because that is where I have the uh, AT2020 plugged into. That's the microphone we're going to use to record this voiceover. Uh, it's a very inexpensive condenser microphone. It's a good microphone for uh, everyone to have around. Now the microphone I'm using for the main voiceover is the Shure SM7B, all right? Now your other option would be to head over here, make sure your mixer is showing. And under track two, you can see there's no input. I can click that and say input, and that gives me the same patch input output, okay? And it drops me into the proper destination. Whereas if I just came to Fairlight and patch input output, I need to change my destination to my track input, okay? So what I want is input one, two, and I wanna patch that to voice. Now I'm on Windows, so this is also important. Uh, make sure you have your microphone set up here in Windows. I'm gonna right click here and go to open sound settings. And down here on my input, you can see I already have this set up to input one, two. So if you're not seeing the input you wanna use, just use your drop down within Windows and go ahead and set that up first. But we already have it set up, okay? So now we have this track patched, our source to our destination, and we'll just click patch. Okay, close down that window, and now I can arm that track, and you can see we get the input right there. Now because my output is also active, we're gonna end up feedbacking because I'm gonna get that output from my speakers back into that uh, AT2020. So I wanna mute this. Now ideally, you would be using headphones plugged into uh, uh, to your output there, so you'll still be able to hear your, uh, your voiceover. So now we're all set up, ready to record. Again, we have this record enabled. All we need to do now is click record, and we'll go ahead and do that. Now we're recording. Classical ballet, which originated in Renaissance Italy and established its, do that again, and established its present form during the 19th during the 19th century is characterized by light graceful fluid movements and we're good okay so let's unarm that track and go ahead and make sure our output is now active and listen back to what we have here Ballet, which originated in so let's mute this right now and go ahead and pull up our clip gain on this here so we can hear it sans italy and established its and do that again, and established its present form. Okay, so not horrible, but of course I need to clean this up. And so right here, for example, now we're recording. Don't need that, so I'll just go ahead and trim that off, just like I would in any other DAW. Classical ballet, which originated in Renaissance Italy, and established its, and do that again, and established, okay. Go ahead and grab my range select here, and get rid of that portion right there. 
and I can go ahead and edit just as you do in any other DAW. Pull this back here, fade this in a bit here, pull this up here. Okay, try that. Sans Italy and established. It pull this out a bit. Italy and established its present form during the nineteenth. During form. Select in here, just to get rid of that and do this real quick. Form during the night. Okay. Fade that one out. Fade this one in. Go and listen to our music at the same time. Form during the 19th century is characterized by light, graceful, fluid movements. And okay. So a quick edit on that. You can see how easy that is overall. Do all of that right within your NLE, which can, of course, save some time from, you know, having to round trip into, you know, a DAW. So let's zoom back in here. There's our real quick edit. I'm going to turn this track down a little bit. Head over here to the edit page, and you can see right down in here now is our new audio track right in there. Same color, same exact content. And we can see that. Which originated in Renaissance Italy and established its present form. But of course, that's not all we can do. We can also use plugins. So I could come over here to effects or EQ or dynamics. I could double click, say, the built in EQ and go ahead and mess with that track. But we can also use any VST effects that we have, just like in your DAW. So one way to do that would be to click the plus icon here right next to effects and say, go to the VST effects and try to find what I want. Now I want Nectar 3. Quicker way to do that would be to come over here to our effects library, audio effects, VST. I'll just type in Nectar and right here it is. Now I have the option of putting any effect I want directly on a clip, for example. And this can be helpful if you, you know, want uh, different effects on each clip. But in this case, we really just want Control Z. We really just want that effect on the entire track. So in this case, I'll grab it, throw it right here on my effects on A2, and there we go. Again, make sure that mixer is showing. So you can see that. I'll head in here to my presets and grab my AT2020 uh, preset that I already have right there. Make a couple of adjustments here, and we should be pretty uh, good. So let's hear this now. Nated in Renaissance Italy and established its present form. And that's a little bit too loud. I would, of course, go ahead and uh, you know, edit this a bit more. Again, back to the edit page, and we can actually uh, see all that right in here. And established its present form during the 19th century is characterized by light, graceful, fluid movements. All right, pretty cool, man. So that is the power of Fairlight here to record something fairly simple, just a quick voiceover directly within your video editor and even using any VST effects that you have either directly on the clip or right on a track.